Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Rising Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing and you are glad in it. We're praying each and every day this month about hope in hard times. That's right. God is our hope in these hard times in which we live in. So each day we just read a passage of scripture that reminds us of the hope that we have from heaven, that God has not left us here alone, but he has given us hope in him and he has given us help in him. In fact, he is the anchor for our souls as we go through the storms that we must sail through. It is God who is the anchor of your soul and mine. And so let's go to the Lord in prayer today as we read his word that reminds us of the hope that we have in hard times from Psalm 71 verse 5 and 6 Psalm 71 verse 5 and 6 says for you are my hope O Lord God you are my trust from my youth by you I have been upheld from birth you are he who took me out of my mother's womb my praise shall continually be of you amen God is our hope and we want to just pray and thank God that he is, in fact, our hope. And the psalmist reminds us that we can pray and thank God that not only is he our hope, but he is our trust, that we've been able to trust him from generation to generation. And so we can trust him even in this season of our life. Come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come to your throne of grace boldly to find help in our time of need. God, we come at your invitation, for you told us men and women ought to always pray. We come, Lord, thanking you for your access, Jesus, that you have given us to go before our Father in heaven and plead our case and our cause before his throne. So, Lord, we just first of all acknowledge who you are. You are God, and you are God all by yourself. You are the great I am. You are whatever we need you to be in any situation and circumstance. God, you are from everlasting to everlasting. God, you know the end from the beginning, for you are alpha and omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. And so, Lord God, while we live in these finite bodies, while we have finite abilities to think, God, you are infinite. You are omnipresent. You are omnipotent, God. You are omniscient. You know all things. You have all power. And you are everywhere at the same time. So, Lord God, as we come to you in these hard times in which we live in, we come thanking you and blessing and praising you that you are, you are our hope in these hard times. We thank you, oh God, that we can trust in you because you are, in fact, the Lord God. You are the Lord God Almighty. You are the Lord God, and you are high and lifted up. You are in control. You are all-powerful. You have all power and all authority in your hand. And we thank and praise you, O God, that you are our hope. And, God, we thank and praise you that we can trust you, that we have trusted you from our youth. We've trusted you down through the years and down through the generations, God, and we can continue to trust in you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You do not change. Times change, and, and, and situations and circumstances change, God, but you are constant. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So, God, we thank you that we can place our trust in you. You told us to trust in you and do not lean to our own understanding in all of our ways. Acknowledge you, and you will direct our path. Lord, direct our pathway through these hard times in which we go through. Direct our pathways, O oh God, in these dark seasons in which we live in. Direct our pathway, Lord, even through the painful situations we must endure because our hope is in you and we trust in you. We know, Lord God, we will make it. Not only will we make it, but we will be more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loves us. So, God, we thank you and bless you and praise you for the privilege of prayer. We thank and bless and praise you for answer to prayer. 
We thank and bless and praise you, Lord, for the peace that comes from praying to you. But Lord God, even though we have to deal with these hard times, your peace surpasses all understanding and it guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, and we love you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number seven. Day number seven of us praying about hope in hard times. And we pray from Psalm 71, verse five and six from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth. By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall continually be of you. Go in the power of the Lord today. Go in the hope that is in God today. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. We love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.